Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Interview with the President of the Republic of Western Armenia on the signing of the Pashinyan Putin Aliyev Agreement. Standpoint of Western Armenia on the political situation in Artsakh. Mercenaries in and around Nagorno Karabakh conflict zone must be withdrawn. UN experts. Artsakh's right to self determination must be preserved. US Congressman Sherman. Appearance of Turkish peacekeepers in the Karabakh could turn into a war. Bulgarian military. We continue to support the Armenian people with whom we have strong ties, Canadian Foreign Ministry. On Western Armenia TV, President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Kabramian, referred to the reality of the new Pashinyan Putin Aliyev trilateral agreement and its consequences, referring to the points included in the document that will cause significant harm to the Armenians. The President spoke about the importance of keeping Karvajar, the danger of the corridor provided in Sunik, which can create real precondition for the implementation of pan Turkism. You can watch the interview on our official YouTube channel. In accordance with the ceasefire signed by the Prime Minister Pashinyan, President Aliyev and President Putin on November 11, 2020, without the formalized participation of France and the United States, the Russian army settles in Artsakh. The Armenian volunteer armed forces are going to leave, but at the moment they are waiting. There are currently no clashes in the area, which allows avoiding confrontation with Russian peacekeepers. According to Article 6, Republic of Armenia Prime Minister Pashinyan must hand over the Karbaja region to the Azerbaijan on November 15. Armenia has neither power nor authority. By law, this region does not belong to the Republic of Armenia. The political consequences of this act would be catastrophic for the Republic of Armenia and its authorities. Western Armenia has already spoken out against the article within the framework of the inviolability of its borders. The same applies to the Lachin region. The issue of Magdi's connection with Nahijavan of Azerbaijan remains a matter of Armenia's domestic policy and national sovereignty. It needs to to be discussed and ratified by the parliament. The Republic of Armenia has neither the right nor the power to give Autam its territory to Azerbaijan on November 20. This region does not belong to it. The ceasefire its amendments do not correspond in any way to the national constitution of the Artsakh Republic. In their practice, these decisions call into question the existence of the de facto state of Artsakh Republic and its authorities. Therefore, Western Armenia invalidates all the decisions of the Republic of Armenia aimed at changing the territorial situation situation in Artsakh. Western Armenia declares occupied territories all the regions that are currently under the control of the Turkish Azerbaijani army. Western Armenia condemns all war crimes, ethnic cleansing, aimed at the destruction of the Armenian civilian population in Artsakh and will demand compensation from Turkey and Azerbaijan under the international law. All the decisions made without the consent of the Armenian population of Artsakh are null and void. They question the very principle of the right of the Armenian people to self-determination. UN human rights experts noted that agreement reached on November 9 to put an end to the hostilities in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict and hoped that it will lead to sustained peace in the region. They are nonetheless concerned by the use of the mercenaries in and around the conflict zone until this agreement was reached and expressed alarm of the devastating consequences of the civilian population with little prospects of accountability. Armand Press reports citing the official website of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights. The UN Working Group on the Use of Mercenaries said there were widespread reports that the government of Azerbaijan with Turkey's assistance relied on Syrian fighters to shore up and sustain its military operations in the Nagorno no care about conflict zone, including on the front line. In case of death, their relatives were reportedly promised financial compensation and Turkish nationality. Since the reception of the hostilities on September 27, 2020 and up to the latest ceasefire, the working group has been increasingly concerned about the repeated reports of attacks in populated area in and around the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone, as well as other areas away from the fighting which has led to civilian casualties, including children. Considerable damage to the civilian property and infrastructure, including schools and hospitals, has also been widely reported, as well as incidents involving journalists. The terms of the Russia and Turkey-backed ceasefire ending Azerbaijan's unprovoked violence against Artsakh and Armenia are unfair. The Trump administration's absence was glaring and led to disastrous results from the people of Armenia. U.S. Congressman Brad Sherman stated this on his Twitter. Who drafted this ceasefire agreement? None other than Putin and Erdogan. This is the result of the lack of U.S. leadership. We must not stand for this disastrous deal forced on Armenia. We must not view it as a final settlement. I asked the U.S. State Department and the U.S. 
co-chairs of the OIC to work with our partners to achieve a fair and balanced long-term settlement. Our test right to self-determination must be preserved, Congressman Sherman added. The possible deployment of Turkish peacekeepers in Nagorno-Karabakh could lead to a new regional war. Bulgarian military reports quoting Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan as saying that Turkey, like Russia, could take part in the peace process in Nagorno-Karabakh. According to the source, the Turkish leader said that talks are underway between Russia and Turkey at the level of foreign ministers and that the Russian delegation will soon leave for Turkey to continue them. Military analysts and political scientists describe Turkey's possible participation in the peace process as very risky in the context of ensuring the desired stability in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. According to them, this could lead to a low level of stability in the region and future hostilities. Canada has taken note of the establishment of the ceasefire in Nagorno-Karabakh and is working with its international partners to examine the terms of the implications of the agreement, Canada's Foreign Minister François-Philippe Champagne said in a statement on Wednesday. Champagne stressed they expected the commitments made by Azerbaijan to be strictly respected and the hostilities to cease permanently without delay. As we mentioned before, Turkey must remain outside of the conflict. I have been in regular contact with the Armenian Foreign Minister to see how Canada can continue to support the Armenian people during this most difficult time and with whom we share strong people-to-people -people ties and values. All parties must negotiate to achieve a permanent and peaceful settlement beyond the ceasefire announced yesterday and through the OSC group co-chairs process the statement reads. Now let us represent your attention a song by Gun. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.